Hello everybody and welcome to week 3 of VGC 2023 Live Battles. This week we're featuring the third and final starter, Quaquavel. Um, this team is based on the team that Wolf Glick used in his exhibition match versus Cybertron. Um, basically Quaquavel's signature move Aqua Step raises its speed by one stage every time you land it. Um, combined with the ability Moxie, you get an attack stage whenever you KO a Pokemon. That's basically a free Dragon Dance anytime you can pick up a KO. Um, so this thing is a great late game sweeper. You just have to position it correctly to where it can get KOs and get speed boosts and stuff. Um, it's paired very well with Tailwind. I've opted for Kilowatt Troll. You could also pair it with Murkrow or Talonflame if you want priority. But Kilowatt Troll is cool because you can actually do tons of damage with Wind Power Thunderbolt. A lot of people don't know this, but charges actually double your next electric move. That's insane. This is not like horrible special attack. That's pretty good. Um, I thought this Pokemon was pretty bad at first, I'm going to be honest, but in testing, it's really good. I've won, I think, seven games in a row on Showdown with this team. Um, it's very volatile, though. Uh, you either win you either win in a landslide or you lose pretty badly. Um, it's pair. This you Usually, I like to lead Garchomp, Kilowatt Troll, get a Tailwind up. This Garchomp is Choice Bandit, so once we lock our move, we can't change until we switch out. We've got Earthquake for good spread damage. We've got Terra Ground, so we can do tons of damage. This is really good against um, Armor Rouge and Didi leads. Um, unless they Terra Grass, then you're kind of boned. But you can always um, Thunderbolt or uh, Air Slash it with this. Um, then we got Dragon Claw for just consistent damage. Rock Slide for flinches and just good spread damage. And Brick Break. Uh, I like using Fighting moves because versus Hydreigon, they often Terra Steel so that they you can't hit them with Dragon or Ground. Um, so I like Brick Break to do consistent damage to them. It's also good because there's tons of screen steams running around. Um, but basically, a lot of hammers lock themselves in an earthquake. That's also partially the reason why Quaquavel has uh, Terra Flying, also to boost Brave Bird. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and Terra Flying Brave Bird with Life Orb can one shot a Moongus, which is really nice. Um, but another, like, I, I we've got this and this can be flying. Um, so I needed something else. I didn't really want to stack a bunch of flying types, though. Um, so, but I've actually got Telepathy Gardevoir. I was testing Sylveon, actually, initially. And then I'm like, no, I kind of want something that can, like, dodge a flying attack. Or a dodge an earthquake, right? And then I'm like, is there a fairy flying type in this game? Let let's find out. Um, flying type. There are none. As you can see, it's only an Amorous and toga Togetic and Togekiss. But this is actually just about the same thing with Telepathy. We dodge our allies' attacks. We can go for Dazzling Gleam. It's a little bit less powerful than Hyper Voice from Sylveon. Um, Psychic is still good single target damage. Um... But with Choice Specs, we're still doing a lot of damage. Um, I believe we're one-shotting Garchomp and Hydreigon. Obviously Hydreigon, I think Garchomp. Um, and then if we Terra Fire, we can one-shot Goldango with Mystical Fire, which is really nice. And then we have Trick for any late-game situations where we would like to change moves. Um, and we can also maybe even cripple something bulky like Don Dozo if, they, if we can trick them right before they rest up or substitute or something like that. Could win us some games. Then we have Amoongus. This is like kind of the Don Dozo counter, kind of the Trick Room counter. Um, basically, it's the only defensive Pokemon I have on this team of just fully offensive threats. Um, we've got Clear Smog for Don Dozo and just other setup Pokemon. Sport to put stuff to sleep, which is super good in Trick Room. This is our, our one way to deny Trick Room, is that we sleep the Trick Room setter. We got Rage Powder to redirect away from our frail Pokemon and then protect, obviously. Um, I don't remember what this bulk does. I think it... <laughs> And my, my go-to calcs are Live Garchomp hits, Live Goldengo hits, so it probably does that. And then our final Pokemon is Arcanine. Um, this is Speed Creeping the Goldengo that we used. Actually, this is Speed Creeping the Goldengo that we used last week. This is Speed Creeping that, because I want Arcanine to be able to move first. Um, for no particular reason. Probably just, like, if I ever see an Amoongus. Like, if, yeah, I guess for against an Amoongus, I could, like, Flare Blitz it and kill it. But if I fail to get the kill, I can... Um, use Dazzling Gleam and um, finish it off, but I would prefer to be able to kill it before I get this so that I can get single target Dazzling Gleam on the other thing. Um, this attack, I think, one-shots Goldengo, probably. Um, I don't know if it would one-shot. I don't know that Arcanine is actually offensive enough to be able to do that. Maybe it's a two-shot. I don't know. And it's probably two-shots uh, Fizz Def Amoongus. That's probably what this does. Or maybe it's Spidef Amoongus. I don't know. Um, and then just general bulk. Um, and basically our Terra types, Terra Flying, as I said earlier, Boost Brave Bird gives us immunity to Earthquake. Terra Normal will um, boost our extreme speeds and it removes our weaknesses, which is pretty nice. Terra Water is very good for, um, I mean, Water is just a great defensive type to be, but if we see a Fire type, 
uh, we can just tear a water, resist it. Um, and then they have to use grass and electric moves, which aren't super common in the meta right now against us. Terra Fire, as I said, for Amoon- or, um, oh, Amoongus, yeah, but I guess we have Psychic for that. That's for Goldengo. Um, Terra Ground, uh, just boost our Earthquake, and Terra Electric just to hit insanely powerful Thunderbolts. This thing, this can one-shot Annihilate, which is insane. That's so much damage. Um, but yeah, that's the team. Uh, we can hop right into some battles now. Alright, we found somebody. Let's see. Alex rank 8. So if we win this, we rank up to rank 9, which is pretty cool. They have a an Armor Rouge team. Okay. So my go-to lead is almost always... Uh, actually, let's do it in the other order, so that way we have the... Um, we can actually see Garchomp. I think the flying thing will, should be a little bit higher. Alright, what else do they have? The Armor Rouge, looking at this, looks like it's actually Scarfed, which is a little bit scary. Um, they have Dock Spun, which is also kind of iffy. I'm tempted to bring Amoongus for in case they start boosting Dock Spun. It could also be good against Annihilate. Um, and then I actually think I'll just bring Gardevoir in the back. It's good against the Bax Caliber with Fairy type attacks, good against the Annihilate with Fairy and Psychic. And it's good against the Obama Snow with fa Fire. Yeah, I actually like this a lot. Only thing that scares me is immediate. Well, I don't know. I don't actually know if I should have led Garchomp in this matchup because the Garchomp, uh, seeing the um, Doxbun plus the Armor Rouge uh, makes me believe that the Armor Rouge is not Trick Room. This is my way to deny Trick Room, um, just to kill it. But if it's Choice Scarfed, it could actually outspeed and do a decent amount of damage. Let's see. Armor Rouge, Doxbun, okay. Well, let's see. How fast can Armor Rouge be? Armor Rouge. Let's just assume it's Timid max speed. Uh, timid plus one. And how fast is Kilowatt Roll? 194, it's 208. So it is faster than Kilowatt Roll. Mm, I think I still actually am okay to Earthquake. Actually, I... I believe if I just Terra Ground, even if the Dock Spun goes for something like, um, even if it goes for something like, oh, he's withdrawing. That's actually really nice. If it goes for Play Rough on my Garchomp, I'm not, it's not going to be super effective anymore. Bax Calibur, this is a great turn for me, I think. Um, Play Rough shouldn't do that much at all to Garchomp here. And we've just removed part of our ice weakness, so even if it has ice shard, it shouldn't be able to finish us off. Um, depending on how much damage we take from whatever the Dox one's doing. Immediate Tailwind should power us up with our wind power ability. Yep, there we go. That's going to be a lot of damage next turn. This might just be a 2-hit KO on both of these Pokemon. Let's see. Whew, that's a lot of damage on the back. That's, yeah, that's a 2-hit KO. Okay, it is Charm. Well, that means we're going to be doing half of what we did last turn. Doxbun is leftovers. Doxbun is not going to go down. Okay. I actually think I'm safe to do this, and I'm going to Air Slash the Doxbun. I could Thunderbolt it and finish it off guaranteed, but um, I'd like to save my charge, because um, prior to this gen... Oh, it's protecting anyway. Um, prior to this gen, your charge would go away the next turn after you got charged. In this gen, you can actually hold on to it until you fire off an electric type attack, which means as long as I don't use an electric type attack, whatever I'm hitting, um, I can save that charge for whenever the armor rouge or somebody threatening comes out afterwards. Although I'm expecting when the armor rouge comes back out, it might actually tear a grass. They usually do have that. I'm tempted to switch Garchomp if it is armor rouge. Reset our um, attack. We can kill the Doxbone with our um, our boosted Thunderbolt. Or we can fire it off into the Armor Rouge slot. It will KO the Armor Rouge. Okay, it's Annihilate. Okay, wait. Ooh, this Thunderbolt. Why is Thunderbolt? Oh, I needed to Terra Electric to get the KO with Thunderbolt. That's that's unfortunate. All right. Well, I definitely um. Well, actually, we're doing. 
No, this thing's probably bulky. I'm gonna go to Amoongus. Do I just fire it off? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the Doxplan, I think. We've got Gardevoir for the Sinilip. We can also put it to sleep with um Amoongus. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, it's so unfortunate we had to use up our charge there. I didn't want to miss or risk just not KOing, because Air Slash is really weak. It's insane that Air Slash is 75 base power and can miss on top of it. That's really bad. <laughs> okay, Armorage. Um, operating under the assumption that the Armorage is Choice Script and Timid. <sighs> Arma Rouge. I'm just going to put Max Special Attack, Amoongus. Let's just put Armor Cannon. Our Amoongus actually does not guarantee to live Armor Cannon. Uh, it's a good roll in our favor, though. And I'm... Uh, I'll, I'll fire off a... Assuming... I, I think it might actually be Terra Grass. So I'm going to fire off an Air Slash into that slot. They usually do run Terra Grass. Could be Terra Water on the Annihilate, or Terra Fire on the Annihilate. It is Terra Fire Annihilate, okay. So that means Gardevoir is no longer very good, but Garchomp is insanely good in this end game. Let's see if we can flinch this. This would be really good. Oh, beautiful flinch. Rage Fist, we have not powered it up at all. Killwashal is not even dying to another one of those. Okay, beautiful Spore. Beautiful. Is this the last turn of uh, Tailwind, or do we have one more? Yeah, that's the last turn, okay. I will currently Rage Powder, reset that Tailwind. And then I'm going to kill the Armorage with our um, powerful Thunderbolt. Lava Plume. Oh, he's powering up his own Rage Fist, that's actually really cool. And he's Terrifier so he doesn't get burned. Wait, this is actually a great burn on my Kilowattrol. Um... Because unfortunately, we don't get to finish it off with our Thunderbolt, I think. I don't actually know how much damage we... I, we're, are we at 11 HP? Okay, that's his first turn of sleep. Honestly, whether Kilowattrol sticks around or dies, it's fine. Yeah, we're dying to this. Oh, no, we're not. We're not. So if we get a, a kill onto the Armor Rouge slot, I'll just continue to Rage Powder here in case the uh, Annihilate... No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to... um. I'm going to Spore the Annihilate. And I'm going to Thunderbolt the Armor Rouge. It can't protect because it's Choice Scarfed. It's going down. Goodbye. Um, Kilowattro goes down here. I'm sporing just in case the Annihilate um, uh, wakes up, essentially. I think that we've got this endgame wrapped up. I'm in, first of all, so that I don't accidentally kill my Amoongus, I'm going to go to Gardevoir. Um, we don't know what item the Annihilate is, actually. There's no reason to go for, um, for Trick onto it. I'm just going to Psychic. Basically, if they attack the Gardevoir, they're killing the one that's doing damage to them, but they have to hit the Amoongus first, uh, otherwise they're getting put back to sleep. Okay, it was Citrus Berry. Or Ogwav, actually. No, it's Hedris. They wake up. Who are they targeting? Okay, they are targeting Amoongus. I've shown them that I'm going to re-put them back to sleep if they don't kill me. And they're taking Rocky Helmet Chip from this. And this is wrapped up, I think. Because there's no way... Uh, we've seen their item. They are not faster than Garchomp. Because my Garchomp is max speed. They sh are probably going to protect a stall at the last turn of my... Um, Tailwind. Oh, they forfeit. Okay, beautiful. I think we make it into Great Ball Tier 9 now. That's very exciting. Oh, that's so cool. We both have Iron Valiant sleeping in our pictures. That's very cute. Iron Valiant. I've said it before and I'll say it again. My favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. It's so cool. I, it's just well, it's just an awesome design. I can't wait to use it in BGC. Yes, we hit Great Ball Rank 9. Oh, and we make it really far into it. If we get another win like that, we might even be able to make it into Ultra Ball tier. We might, yeah, we might be able to hit Ultra Ball tier today if we if we continue 
our win streak like we had on or like I had on showdown when I was practicing with this team. I'm very excited. Ooh, da da bow, da bo. Okay, it's a bulky looking team. They got screens, annihilate, uh, Gothitel, um, Amoongus, Arcanine, Azumarill. Very scary stuff. I like this. I like this. I like this. Question is in the back. Do I bring Quaquavel? It's good against the. Kind of good against the Arcanine. We don't want to get intimidated though. I like the um, Brave Bird into the Amoongus. Um, I could bring my own Amoongus. Helps a lot with Azumarill, actually. Like, super a lot with Azumarill. Uh, it's actually not so good into. Uh, mm. If they set up Trick Room, it, it can put stuff to sleep. It's awkward against their own Amoongus, which is kind of what leads me to want Arc. Do I actually. Hang on, do I need Gardevoir here? I really like it into a the Annihilate, but I might actually just do this and this. That makes me really weak to Annihilate, though, and that really worries me. Am I worried? Hmm. Am I more worried about their Amoongus or their Azumarill is the question. I do want this. I think I'm more worried about the Azumarill. Oh, I have Gardevoir. If I if I can um, pl position my Gardevoir correctly, I should be able to get a huge chunk of damage onto the Amoongus. And I also can just hit it with Spread Earthquakes. It's risky, though. The um, immediate Trick Room is hard for me to... I didn't lead correctly for Trick Room. I led just assuming uh, screens. I don't know who that is. Oh, that's Trick Room. This could be Parish Trap, too. That's a scary thought. I led... I can put them in the wrong order again. Um... First thing, uh, against Sagathatel, you always want to check if you can switch or not. Okay, I cannot switch. This is scary, because I might just immediately lose my, um, Garchomp. I am very content with doing this, though. Just kill the Azumarill as soon as I can. Oh, I forgot about Fake Out. So I might lose my Garchomp here. How much damage is that doing? Half? Okay. It is Parasong. Okay. Okay. Probably double protect next turn. Okay, um, I'm gonna do this again. I am expecting double protect here. Hmm. The Azumarill's withdrawing. Who is that going into? Amoongus? Grimmsnarl. Yeah, that is protecting. Okay. Okay. I probably should have predicted the uh, protect. Um, I could have Tailwinded to get my charge up. How much damage is this doing to a Grimmsnarl? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, I am, um... Actually, I think almost entirely content to Terra... No, no, not Terra this. Don't Terra this. I'm gonna go for Air Slash here. Terra, Earthquake. Should kill the Gothitelle. Um, even under Reflect or Light Screen. Then I'm gonna just double switch next turn. Oh, the Gothitelle withdrew. Oh, that's interesting. Is it Azumarill? Arcanine. Wait, this is an insane amount of damage going into the Arcanine slot. I actually... I wonder if my... In the late game, I'm actually okay. Mm, Amoongus was not... I don't think they're correct call here. That's that's a very good play by that part. They, they expected me to kill that slot. Um, so they're going to be able to get Gothitelle back in next turn. It's going for parting shot. I don't really care about that. Wait, is this into Gothitelle? If this is into Gothitelle... Um, I might still be have an out. I actually don't know how the Terra interaction works. I don't know. How, I don't know if this is gonna be more damage than it was. Let's find out. Big chip. 
I'm at minus one, but I have a Terra, so I don't know if that's... Oh, eject button. Is that sent to uh, a zoom roll, or are they sacking Grimmsnarl? I wonder. Hmm. Is that... Okay, they are sacking Grimmsnarl. Let's find out. Please kill the Gothitelle. We're in a great position if it kills. Ah, oh, it didn't kill. Okay, so it looks like the parting shot is more damage reduction than the boost you get from Terra. That's also, um, probably Citrus. Okay. Looks like we're losing both Pokemon, unfortunately. Oh, it's Figgy. Okay. So, they can only fake out one. Um... So it's probably, I mean, I don't, I can't tell which one it's going to be. I'm assuming it's going to be the uh, Garchomp, which means I can actually get a Tailwind up. So I'm going to Tailwind and just go for an Earthquake. I'm hoping they take out the Garchomp. Oh, it's just double protect. So we get our Tailwind up. It's 3v2 right now. Um, they have Arcanine, Azumarill, Gothitelle. Let's see how fast is Azumarill. I'm assuming it's not going to have much speed like at all. Only 70, so that means our Amoongus is actually faster than this under Tailwind. That's very nice, because that means we can hit it with a big chunk of damage from Clear Smog. Uh, so, bye-bye both Pokemon, we just got Parish Trapped. They played well with it, though. Um, they knew what they were doing. But we have a fast Amoongus now. And what I'm curious about, is it better to just go for a kill onto the Azumarill? Or is it better to try and put something to sleep? Yeah, let's do it in that order. We can also try to um, trick an item... Okay, so, let's see. Uh, the Azumarill honestly probably just goes down to Clear Smog plus Dazzling Gleam. But I don't know if the Arcanine is a huge threat if that if I go for this. I think I have to go for this, though. With drawing the Gothitelle into the Arcanine, that means it's going to be taking a free Dazzling Gleam. Mm, it's a... 60%. Intimidate doesn't matter to me. The Zimmerl might just go down here, so let's find out. Oh, that's still actually very good damage. I like that damage a lot. Oh no, it's a big ass berry. No. Oh, it's only citrus. It's only citrus. It should still go down to clear smog. Clear smog does 35% minimum. But that had uh, a lot of bulk invested. Damn it. Okay, pair song. This is still okay, I, or not okay, but it's it's winnable. We just have to be very quick. Um, okay, so the Amoongus, or the Azumarill obviously goes down to um, uh, the next Dazzling Gleam. I'm going to clear smug into the Arcanine slot, I guess. No, 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 I need to keep the Azumarill, or the uh, Gardevoir alive. I'm going to do that just in case their kind goes for an attack here. Oh, they haven't even terra yet. What Terra is this? Is this uh, Terra normal? Extreme speed probably into the Gardevoir slot? Trying to... Oh, it's Terra Fire. That's fine. I wonder what the point of that is. I guess to um try and one-shot my Az Amoongus? Let's find out if they can get it. Let's find out also if they're faster than my Gardevoir. So there's a Rage Powder. Try and keep my Gardevoir safe. Maybe they were actually targeting the Gardevoir the whole time. Dazzling Gleam. Let's see if we pick this up. It looks like we might, actually, from the damage we did last turn. Ah, oh, just barely. Um, the Flare Blitz Recoil should pick it up, though. Amoongus does go down. Okay. How many, do we have two turns or one turn left? Oh, I think they have it. They got it, I think. With, um... Because they fake us out next turn, then they protect the turn after, yeah. Hmm. 
damn it, the Azumarill living on, like, literal 1 HP was a, uh, that was clutch for them. Should be fake out. Fake out and then just any attack from the Azumarill. And then double protect next turn. Saying, oh, that just seals the deal. Damn. We just got Parish trapped. Um, in thinking about it, I don't even know what I could have done differently. Um, I'll just forfeit. I think if I had teared in, like, turn one and just jumped, um, I, w I was afraid to commit, um, initially. I think if I had gotten the extra chip on the Gothitelle, actually, yeah, the extra chip on the Azumarill definitely would have gotten it killed on that turn that it set up the Parish Song. So yeah, the immediate Terra would have won us the game there. Um, I should not have hesitated to Terra. That's, uh... Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens. And the, the chip on Gothitelle would have been really good, too. Um, we can continue. I'll keep that one in the game. That was, uh... It's unfortunate to lose those points, but they, they definitely knew how to play. Um, oh, you can just pick no music. Okay, I think we, we've cycled through all the music now. I'll, I'll do it a little bit more, just because we're still in kind of the beginning phase. Um, we gotta figure out which ones are the best ones, and then I can just play some music or something if they're not great. But I'm fine just cycling through. Alright, that was that was a decent battle. Um, it's always fun to see Paris trap teams. It's not fun to play against them, but it's it's cool to see how they how they work. So we have Indeedee, Meowskarada, Sylveon, Amoongus, Armor Rouge, and Mousehold. So they've got three potential redirectors. So I just like spamming my uh spamming my spread moves here. It's a shame that we haven't gotten to feature Quaquavel at all, um, but every single team has had stacked with fairies, stacked with like water types, stacked with um, just stuff that threatens it. So in the back, I actually don't want to bring Amoongus here, I don't think. Uh, it's, it's fine to the Sylveon, but the other stuff just hurts it. I do actually... No, 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 I definitely want Arcanine in the back for the Meowskarada, for the Sylveon, for the Amoongus. Absolutely. And Intimidate's always good. My question is... Actually, Quaquavel is not the worst. It's, do I want uh, this or do I want Quaquavel? And this is good against... Pretty good against Amoongus. And it's good against um, Meowskarada with just spamming Dazzling Gleam. But into the other stuff, I think I want... I think we can, we can try out Quaquavel here. Um, physical attacks are just the easiest way to break through Sylveon, um, which is actually kind of a threat. Um, that's why I brought my two physical attackers in the back. So we gotta get our our Tailwind up. Um, I don't recall them having any Fake Out users. I also don't recall them having any Tailwind of their own. Oh, well, that's right, because it's Trick Room, duh. Okay. So, um, let me see, actually. Uh, kill a watch roll. Whoops. Kill a watch roll versus Armor Rouge. Oh, obviously I can't go for Air Slash into it because it's, um... The Ndidi's going to follow me, duh. I'm just gonna do this. Um, if they tear a ground, then... Uh, or if they tear a grass, then they just outskilled me. That's all there is to it. This is my... And this has worked like four times on Showdown. I've ne they've never tear grass turn one. I I have a very heavy feeling in my heart that they're about to do it here, though. I, I really think that they're just going to tear grass and own me. But we'll find out. <laughs> Dude, they never did it on Showdown. Four games, and they never tear grass. Why are they doing it now? I've just been outskilled. Dude, I literally saw it coming, but I just went for it because it's worked every time in testing. We found the smartest Armorous player on the ladder. Yeah, and I couldn't have even um, air slashed into it because I knew the Ndidi was just going to be following me. So I just decided to get the boost. Does this kill Ndidi? It might. Probably still does decent damage to the Armorous too, in all honesty. Yeah, big damage to both. Okay, there's the Trick Room. Honestly, we're not in a horrible position. I don't think at least. Let's check versus uh, Expanding Force. Expanding Force in Psychic Terrain. My Kill Watchel does have a Focus Sash. 
Garchomp. Are we actually okay? Yeah, we're fine. We're not dying. I'm gonna just do it again. An Air Slash. They'd have to double. I'm expecting, honestly, uh... Oh, Garchomp probably does die to that. Damn. That must be, like, Life Orb or something, then. Because this expanding force... Oh. But of course it's not dying, because the fucking damage calculator took away the psychic terrain when I changed the Pokemon. It is Life Orb, too, so that does that definitely helps. Alright, Air Slash hopefully finishes it off. Okay, thank god. Okay. Now... Oh, I can't check their team. I, I hate that you can't check their team. Um... I remember Sylveon, and I remember Amoongus, and I- there was no Annihilate, I don't think, on this team. So I'm gonna go to Arcanine. Is this Amoongus? It is Sylveon. Okay, I'm fine with this. Okay, let's see. We gotta figure out how many turns of Trick Room are left. Probably three? Yes. Wait, was that three or was that three turns of Psychic? Okay, three turns of Trick Room. Um, obviously, the way you gotta play Trick Room is you just double protect on this turn. The Sylveon has no way to- it shouldn't be Calm Mind, I, I hope it's not. It's probably just gonna Hyper Voice right now under Trick Room. The Indeedee might follow me. Yeah. Okay. Next turn I'm gonna Snarl. And, um... Let's see if Snarl kills Indeedee. I'm just gonna assume it's the one that I was running. Which means it'll be at plus one. Snarl's doing 10%. Ah, it doesn't kill. Damn it. We gotta go for Flare Blitz, unfortunately. And I guess I'll just throw off a Thunderbolt into the Sylveon slot. I would have loved to go for Snarl, but it doesn't kill this indeed yet, this range. So Kilowatch goes down. Um, I've got Quaquavel in the last slot. So, after we stall out the Trick Room, I think we're in a very good position. Depending on who's in that last slot of theirs. I didn't see Throat Spray from that Sylveon either. Might be Pixie Plate then. Okay, my Arcanine is at half. Our Tailwind's gone, that doesn't really matter though. Honestly though, um, Thunderbolting Turn 1 would probably would have been better. Amoongus, that's actually fine by me. Okay, we have one turn left to Trick Room. Sylveon did not get a special attack boost, so I think it is Pixie Plate. We double protect. Ooh, we don't really have a great way of dealing with the Sylveon, though, because I'm assuming the Amoongus goes for Rage Powder next turn. Let's check for Quibble. If we get a high roll, honestly, if we get a high roll, or if it's not physically defensive Amoongus, we could kill it with, um, Black Wavel, uh, Brave Bird. Psychic Terrain's gone. We have to go for a call on what kind of Amoongus they have, let's see. I mean, the rest of their team is, like, their Sylveon is definitely specially defensive. I guess the other guys kind of both. I'm gonna go for Snarl and Brave Bird. I'm hoping that the Brave Bird does a ton of damage to the Amoongus, and then the, um, the Snarl will either hopefully finish it off. Oh, thank god! Well, actually, knowing that it killed, I should have gone for, uh, I should have gone for, um... <laughs> I should've gone for Flare Blitz here. Because we're most certainly going down to the Hyper Voice. Storm might be able to keep Arcanine alive. Uh, this endgame still is iffy. Okay. Um, Arcanine. Sylveon. I'm assuming Pixie Plate. Pixie Plate. Hyper Voice is going to do maximum 57. Our Flare Blitz is doing 150 divided by 3 takes 50. 
And we've got 60, yeah. Mm. I think Extreme Speed into Flare Blitz actually might pick it up. We need some high rolls, though. Okay. Now this Flare Blitz needs to pick it up here. That's uh, going to need a very high roll, though. This is so close. Mm, damn it! Oh... That was so close. Damn it, dude. I, can't, I mean, the only way I could have played that differently is if I had uh, played my turn one differently. Which <laughs> probably would have won us the game. Okay, um... I know a couple episodes ago I said I'm going to try and get three battles per game. But I do want to keep that one, though. That's a good lesson. Um, in uh, the one game I, di I didn't commit to my Terra turn one, that game I overcommitted and Terra turn one. Um, if I had not, I probably could have won the game. Or if I had even doubled into the NTD that turn, I probably could have won the game. Um, or with some different damage rolls at the very end, I could have won that game. But I am going to get one more. This video is going to be a little bit longer, and I'm sorry for that. But I need to get a good game with this team. Dude, why am I facing, like, only Asian players? And why are they all using Trick Room? Dude, I can't beat- I can't stop Trick Room. It's just gonna be Follow Me Trick Room, I bet, as the lead. Oh, but they have a Tailwind mode as well. Okay, we got something unorthodox. I'm gonna lead Quarkwavel Amoongus. Uh, I'm assuming... This should be good into almost any of their leads. In the back, I'm going to bring... These two. No speed control this game. No problem. Dude. I am just running into the worst teams. This is like my third match I've tried to record. One, I just ran into the probably worst trick... Like, the hardest trick room team ever. Multiple setters. Couldn't, like, put them to sleep. I, I could try to put them to sleep, but... Oh my god, that's so cute! I bet they just took a picture of the, um poster uh the hard trick from team and then i just played a game with against hurricane talonflame in the rain immediately got um immediately got uh crit by hurricane and just died all right i'm fine on this um Depends on what they go, what goes on. They could, uh, I'm assuming the mouse will just population bombs. There's no reason for them to not do that. Um, and they're going to get killed because my Amoongus is Rocky Helmet. And I'm pretty sure I evied this Amoongus to live enough hits to where it'll die. But I, I, I can't quote you on that because none of my other EVs... Oh, is this Terra Normal? Never mind, maybe this doesn't work then. Or is it Terra Ghost trying to dodge close combat? It is Terra Ghost. Okay. I am fine with this. Because... I went for Aqua Step. Because I went, I'm ex expecting the Rage Powder to be the one that kills them. Could be full support, though. Okay. That's one. There's Rocky Helmet. Two. Rocky Helmet. Three. Rocky Helmet. So it'll take six to kill them, okay? Oh, that's, un that's interesting. I bet you always want your mouse hold to have an odd number of HP so you can... Get an extra hit against Rocky Helmet Pokemon. Okay, that's a lot of damage on our Amoongus, but we've killed the Mousehold. And wasted their Terra, too. That's why... That is why I will always run Rocky Helmet Amoongus. That's such a good... Um, that means they're not... Um, that means they're not going for Tailwind with Murkrow. I wonder what it is. I wonder if it's Brave Bird? Icy Wind. So our speeds are both neutral right now. Of course they fucking crit me, dude. Every player has been getting so lucky against me. Like, I got flinched uh, in the last game I played, which will be get cut out because it was just like, dude, I got my guard trump got crit one shot. My kill watcher got flinched the next turn. Couldn't kill even though I had a focus sash on it. Goldengo, okay. Um, how is? Quackwavel versus Goldengo. 
is not dying to uh, make it rain. So, who do I have in the back? Guard of our guard shop. Okay. I'm fine to. I don't know. I'll just rage powder. I'm gonna. I'll aqua step this. The speed. I'm assuming this is gonna be tailwind coming in. Yeah. So. Make it rain, obviously, is gonna do a lot. Quaquavel survives. It's at minus one now. It means the Murkrow is kind of tied up going for Haze next turn. Does Garchomp survive? Garchomp does indeed survive. Make it rain from even choice specs, Goldengo. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Alright, so I'm going for Earthquake here. My opponent should go for Haze, and as long as they don't crit my Garchomp, I am completely fine to just get a kill. Maybe I should have targeted the Murkrow last turn. Uh, I mean, a fish for a crit. Actually, close combat on the Murkrow would be really good. They didn't go for Haze, actually. Which means they're losing their... No, they're not, because if the Murkrow goes for Foul Play into my Garchomp, it probably kills. Or Icy Wind, too. Fuck. Please don't kill. Survive, Garchomp. I should have Terra grounded. It survived. Okay, thank god. <sighs> okay, Goldango goes down. All depends on who's in the last slot. If it's something that loses to Gardevoir, we have a we have a shot. Or something with no spread moves. Please be weak to fairy. We have a shot. Wait, how many turns of tailwind do you have left? Two, okay. I'll sack you. I'll just double sack. This is so risky, though. Um, I mean, I don't have it. I don't have a choice other than this. I did not see life orb on the Hydreigon. I mean, unless it's, it's flash cannon. Let's check flash cannon. It's probably not choice specs, and if it is, it's locked into dark pulse. I think we have a win here, actually. They can't Terra because they terra their mouse hold. There's no reason for me to Terra. Um, I guess to resist the da the Icy Wind, a little bit optimal. But it's... I should have terra I absolutely should have terra Okay, I dodged. It didn't matter. Uh, I wasn't even in crit range. Double crit, though, could have killed me. But we get a kill. Beautiful. Fucking finally, we gotta win. Um, yeah, I should have teared on that last turn, um, but it would have taken a double crit. I mean, I'm looking at the damage right here. I knew it wasn't life orb. That means the flash cannon only does 58% max. Even with a crit, it would still take probably an icy wind crit. Um, but even then, I don't think it would kill me. I should have teared just because why not? I was worried that they might just go for the crazy balls to the wall read, see that I didn't click Terra earlier, and then go for the... Um, the Draco Meteor, which could per... Draco Crit could kill me if, if they... Because they had seen that I hadn't Terra, so they'd be like, oh, maybe he's going to Terra here. Um, go for Crazy Balls to the wall, Draco Crit kill. But um, without Terra-ing, the, uh, the Flash Cannon Crit could never kill me. But um, thank you for watching. Um, I didn't have a fun time recording this video. As I said at the beginning, this team is very volatile. It either wins or it doesn't. <laughs> um, and I didn't win a lot of them. <laughs> Uh, I cut out the, uh, the ones where I just got, uh, one of them I just got smoked, one of them I just got very unlucky, um, 
but I'm hoping that the three that I have are all entertaining. No, I have four, don't I? Yeah, this video's long. Um, yeah, I hope that those are entertaining battles. I hope we run into some more standard teams next time. This team is designed to go... It goes well against Hydreigon, as you saw. Um, it'll go good against Garchomp, goes good against Goldengo, as you saw that last game. Um, yeah, like, I guess that last team was a decently standard team that we match up well into. We could go well against Mousehold, just like we did. That was actually, the, like, four standard Pokemon, and you see that we, uh, are able to pretty well, easily, um, maneuver around them. Those first couple battles were just, just very weird teams. Um, but, uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, uh, take care, see you next time. Peace.